What's even more remarkable is the relationship that developed between the herd and the man who saved them in the first place, Lawrence Anthony. Lawrence's wife, Francoise, watched that relationship develop over the years. It was like uh, spectacular. You could see the love, you could see the trust, you could see the feelings. Lawrence had never worked with elephants before he rescued Frankie's family. It was a very spontaneous, he had that child enthusiasm, mm -hmm. you see, of anything is possible. Lawrence, like every day, used to go and spend two, three hours with a herd of elephant, and uh, this is what created that most amazing, amazing relationship. Whenever Lawrence left the reserve for more than a day or two, the herd would often appear outside his house when he returned. <coughs> Even with 4,000 kilometers of natural reserve to roam in, it seems they chose to seek Lawrence out. But on the 2nd of March, 2012, Lawrence died unexpectedly. Frankie's family hadn't been seen at Lawrence's house for some time. But on that day, they marched 12 hours to get there. When they arrived, the herd stood in total silence. They stayed by the house for two days. Exactly one year later, to the day, the herd marched again. Since then, they've come to Lawrence's house on the anniversary of his death every year. It's something which is more than emotional. It's beyond our understanding. Their intelligence, their sensitivity, their sensibility, their, 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 their emotions. Do we know everything? But I think we've got so much to learn from them. It's not something that science can explain. And of course, there's every possibility that these could be extraordinary coincidences. But could it be that the elephants were responding to Lawrence's death?